And we're back. Less distractions now, I hope. Anyways, uh, last time I did some running around trying to find the DLC items. And we found a bunch of them, hit a couple of shrines, not as, didn't do as much as I wanted to. Uh, just because distractions came up. But... <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> okay. But now we're back at it, and I went back over some videos just to check. I don't know if I missed it last time or if it didn't appear. Here's the chest, you know, a couple of... <sighs> There were some DLC items I was having trouble finding, and apparently one of them was right there. Under the waterfall. I thought so, but I didn't I remember seeing it. Okay, but anyways, Phantom Ganon Skull. Some believe this eerie headgear is in in inspired sorry, by a dark entity resembling the great king of evil himself. It's rather rare find. This is a rather rare find. So yeah, now we got Ganon gear, so that's fun. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not trying to make mo noises in the microphone. Just going here after eating and everything. Okay, we're near a shrine. Let's keep that in mind. Okay, then right here. Yeah, on the map by this bird statue. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ibarra Forest. Yeah, by this broken statue here. And that's the Phantom Ganon Greaves. We're near a shrine. Let's find it. Is it ahead of us? Is it below us? Get out of here. This way. It's fluctuating. Right, we got rain. Yeah, that climbing gear speed is so good. It's so nice. Oh, uh... Ironically, the lightning rod. Nope. It's my bow. We're fine. Come on, where are you? It's not great time to try to find this stuff while it's raining. Come on. Where is it? Okay, oh, yeah, those guys are in trouble down there. And I heard a Yiga guy. Nope, that's fire. Hey, help out. Get out of here. Get your corpse pieces. Oh, did it break? Okay. Um. Uh, jabby. Get out of here. I can't sing. Okay, well. They're all taken care of. Okay, fine. <clears throat> you two camping out. We are saved! Uh, we're traveling in search of flower known as the Silent Princess that we might pluck out uh, one for ourselves. And the risk of roaming the countryside of monsters about when Alright, have fun. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, hey, dragon. Right. Uh, just like, oh my god, the dragon's here. Right. We know, we know, know that. <laughs> uh, okay. 
You can get rid of those stamps. Whoops. Okay, we got... Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll find the shrines another time. So we almost found all the DLC items. There's one... I'm not... Yeah, hold on. But we should find another shrine. That's the plan. But we're also going to try and find... You know, we're also going to try and find the dragon. The, uh, like, water, ice, cold dragon, whatever. I'm just supposed to go to the mountain. That's all I got. Um, no, okay. No, nope, not that way. Okay. Just gotta find another bridge. But this should be where the last, um, get it. Ooh, there's a shrine. Yes? No? Hold on a second, I gotta get a look at that. Go away. Yep, absolutely a shrine. Ah, oh god! Oh, we got ragdolled. <laughs> okay. Go back. Whoop. Uh, Phantom Ganon. Phantom Ganon armor. Okay. Um, this is the next plus base to go. I suppose we go with there. Yeah, if we go to the lake tower, we can do a couple of things there. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> He's kind of teleportation and we're leaving. <laughs> I have found you, you know, rival of the Yiga. Oh, where'd he go? Sorry, stalling a bit, you know. Um, we're gonna get more stuff going. At least want to hit, you know, another shrine. You know, probably next time we're gonna go after Bob Meadow. So. Coral Lake, there's definitely a Korok over there. Just gotta finish the X. In case there was a shrine in sight, maybe. Whoops. We overshot. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. I thought I was like, is this the rock we gotta bring over to that X? Your rock is gone now. You brought this one yourself. Whoops. Hold on. We also gotta get the, um, the one near Korok Forest, but we'll get to that. <laughs> I was gonna say, can we put a Moblin head down and will that count? Hold on. Get out of here. Trying to find where would a stone be? Okay, well, moving on. We're not gonna get too hampered by this. Mm, usually. You know, if I am gonna go Korok hunting, it's gonna be in places I know I've cleared out, so. Okay, moving on. There we go. Okay, anyways, Coral Lake. Not Avatar Coral Lake. Okay, but it's right there. Whoops. Yeah, right there. And I remember in the video watching, it's just like it's a little awkward to get at. But this is going to be an important one. And there we go, Island Lobster Shirt. And yeah, it's Link's shirt from Wind Waker. Yeah, it's adorable. And yeah, apparently it provides heat resistance, but it also apparently 
drastically increases your um, sailing speed. So that is very helpful. Okay, we don't need that anymore. If we climb up that path, we should be able to get to there. Yes, we found that part there. Okay, so just that item there, which we're never going to use, and that item there, which I might tangentially use. But let's go to that shrine I found there. Yeah, Garb of Winds. Yeah, it's Link's little lobster shirt from the beginning of Wind Waker. I really got to go back to Wind Waker. Like, I've started playing that game on my channel a long time ago. Because I thought, you know, Legend of Zelda, you know, let's play another Legend of Zelda game. You know, Wind Waker is one of the most famous ones, most popular. And, you know, it's, you know, one of the, considered one of the best. And it's like, I really should get into that. And I was getting into it. Um, just like when I was playing it, though, I wanted something that was a lot snackier at the time. And that's not Wind Waker's fault at all. I just like, I thought at the time with the setup I had, I thought like, oh, Wind Waker, that'll be very simple. You know, it's a Wii U game. It won't take up that much hard drive space. It will be very fast on rendering when I had like older, slower equipment. Um, and I just thought, so it's like, you know, it's like, it'll be fast. And, you know, I can break that apart. Um... But it just did not work out for what I wanted at the time, where, um, like, I was a good click. Where was I? I don't even remember. Um, I think I was at the second dungeon, maybe? Or getting, t trying to go towards it? Um, but the problem I ran into, and again, this is a me thing, not the game's thing. It was just sort of like, you know, when I was sailing, um, it just, like, it took basically the entire episode to get anywhere the way I was doing things. So it's like I was making so little progress. Um, and then just sort of like the ren... For some reason, like the file sizes... Uh, I think I had a setting wrong, but... Uh, Pumag Nitai. Nitai. Nitai? But for some reason, like the file sizes got crazy big. And it's just like, what is going on? It's a Wii U. My, like, I'm like recording PS4 games... Uh, I think at the same time, and like the file size is like half as big. What is happening here? Um, and it just took forever to render it out, and it's just like I can't bother with this anymore. I'm and I just dropped it, and I kept telling myself like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to it. My friend kept telling me it's like, yeah, Wind Waker's great. Go back to it. It's like, you know, I'll get to it before the year's over. Um, I think I might might have told him that two or three years ago, <laughs> and I just never got around back to it. I really should. I've been kind of hoping that maybe... Right. Uh, actually, if I'm going to wear armor, that's suboptimal for the thing. Um, but yeah, Ganon armor looks really cool. Uh... You know what? Let's lure the phantom armor for the attack boost. Overkill. <laughs> yeah, it's a minor test of strength. We weren't in that much danger. Um, can we get rid of a shield? All the shields are pretty good right now. Mm, yeah, we don't need it. Okay. Oops, almost forgot about the actual stuff it dropped. So, another minor test of strength. You know, we are well stocked for that. That armor actually looks really cool, you know, in this look. Um, but yeah, Wind Waker just never got, um, back to it, and I really should. Ooh, a boomerang? Uh. I mean, if I had to get rid of something I got right now. I know that the boomerang is much weaker than the axe, even with that modifier. I just want the boomerang. <laughs> But yeah, I should go back to Wind Waker, and you know, part of me is just sort of like, you know, I wanted to play Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom came out, and maybe I jumped on it a bit earlier than I expected, because I'm going at a pretty good click, I feel. Um, you know, even though it's slowing down here a bit, um, you know, I think we're going to focus on the Divine Beasts after this, and then, you know, I'll, you know, figure out where all the shrines are at and such, and then just go shrine hunting and get that all on camera. Um, but, you know, it's not going to take me until May to do that. And if I got the time, you know, it's just like, this is the only game I'm playing right now. Well, you know, Let's Playing. So it's just like, what I want to do after that? And, you know, I got a bunch of options, but I'm like, do I want to go and do, you know, 
more Zelda games. So do I want to, you know, should I finally go back to Wind Waker? I, I'm really got an itch to play Twilight Princess again. And I got, I still got my old crappy Wii U so I can play both of those things. Um, you know, so there's both those. Uh, there's Zelda, you know, more Zelda games to play. I could, um, because uh, Nintendo Switch Online recently uh, released the um, Game Boy and, uh, sorry. Well, you know, they got the N64 emulator, because that's what it is. Uh, so it's just like, eh, Majora's Mask in Ocarina of Time? Never played Majora's Mask. It's one of my friend's all-time favorite games. He loves it. Um, but, uh, I never just got around to it. Ocarina Time, I played a good chunk of the, uh, remake, um, on, uh, where is this? Uh, I suppose we just gotta get over that, whatever, we're moving on. <laughs> uh, is it this way? Yeah, I think so. There's another Korok rock formation. Korok formation. Uh, but we're just gonna move on. Uh, but you know, I played a good chunk. Where was I going? I think I was just about to head towards the Shadow Temple, uh, if I recall. And I just, uh, you know, this is gonna be a controversial top take. I just couldn't get on with Ocarina of Time. I'm sorry, I tried. It's just like, it's not clicking for me. And I can't explain why. Because it's just sort of like... You know, it's just... Yeah, hold on, we'll get to that. That'll be a good rant. Uh, but yeah, we got... Hey, it looks like a fairy fountain. That's weird. I didn't know there was a fifth fairy. That wasn't an Age of Calamity. Um, and legitimately, I did not know about this. <laughs> uh, Ancient Saddle. So yeah, we got the other, you know, piece of horse armor. Uh, unfortunately, they don't work on Epona, so that won't matter that much. But, yeah, it's like, I didn't know there was a fifth fairy. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. I am Malala, Malana, Malanya. Hast thou, I mean, have you ever felt the pain of losing a horse companion? If my powers return to me, I may be able to help you out in some way. So please, I beg of you, help me regain the power I've lost. All I need is a thousand rupees. <sighs> I don't want to give him my money, but I suppose my power has been restored. I should be able to use, be of use to you who loves horses. So now you have, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know this was here. I know what this is. I'm just like, that's funny. Uh, this lady got no arm. All right, fine. I'm saving up for my other girl, but that's okay. But yeah, that's weird. The fairy, you know, not taking as much as the other one. then at last free of that tiny butt after so long if my arms were corporeal they'd have they have cramped for sure and you're the one who set me free are you not i don't know what to do with this thing's voice <laughs> this is not a fairy my name is mala mal Malanya, I am the god who watches over the horses of this world i suppose you deserve a reward for setting me free what shall i do shall i make you a meal I only just, I'm thinking just like, for some reason, I'm thinking like Rafiki from Lion King. If a horse you love passes away from sort of, sort of tragic fatal accident, it, it was, it, it is within my power to revive that horse. I don't know. However, if I detect vile intent behind the death of your horse, you will suffer my wrath. I only just, let me see. I've killed no horses yet. I see you're good with horses. All seems to be well. The friendship you establish with the horse really is extraordinary. Remember that such a friendship is a two-way road. Horses care for you as much as you do for them. He just crumbled. <laughs> okay, yeah. The horse god. I legitimately did not know that was a thing. Um, until, like, a long while later. Because, like, I never rode a horse in my first playthrough. Or, at the very least, I never used one extensively. 
because like I just didn't want to. I'm just sort of like, why would I do that? It is so much cooler to, you know, not do, you know, not use a horse, just running around the world on foot. And yeah, it takes a bit longer. The horse is a time-saving measure, but I was just so much more exhilarated by running. Um, let's see. We got a couple of shrines we could probably hit. I mean, we got these two right by Rito Village. That'd be easy. We got... I want to head to Satori Mountain for something, but... Well, or maybe we don't need to. Well, let's go to the Gerudo Tower. You know, we got time. Maybe we'll hit up a couple more shrines so I can get, like, two more, um, hearts. Yeah, I'm debating. Or do I want to start putting stuff with the stamina wheels? But then again, we got the hearts now. Gerudo Tower. Uh, let's talk to this guy. There's a shrine here, but I have no idea what he's talking about. It's good to see you well. Would you like to hear the ancient past? Yeah, let's do it again. Without further ado. Murmur, murmur. The light shines from the northwest skies. From the tower shadow an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. I am still unclear, because that's where the shrine is, but then how do we activate it? That's what I'm unclear on. Arrow flies, so do we have to... Do we have to get sunlight to that location, or...? <sighs> yeah, I'm just unclear what's supposed to be here. How we do this one specifically. Because, yeah, do we need light to shine on this spot, or do we need to do something else? Hmm. Well, okay, why don't we try something, just because I'm stupid. <laughs> Mm. Hold on. So, okay, so I got, uh, where is it? Red Chew Jelly. Pop that sucker by the campfire. Let's just try noon. Okay, it's 10.30 a.m. Let's think about cutting down off the UIs, like... Yeah, just... So the impression I got is just like, shoot a, at the arrow, but there's gotta be... Something we can actually do. There goes the clouds. I'm just not sure. Okay, we'll come back to that. 
in the meantime, there's another shrine down here. Sorry, I'm just not sure what to do with that one. It's like, that's a puzzle I'm just not grasping. But there was a shrine I spotted in the, you know, sandstorm a long ways back. Uh, sorry. There ya. There ya, you blah blah blah. Wee! Dakota! There's even a campfire next to it. Okay. Eye of the Sandstorm. Right, because that was a quest given to us. Wasn't it by a Goron? So, you know, we got like, we're halfway there. We got four, or we got half the shrines. Electric Path. Okay, another, um, yeah, another, uh, circuit challenge. Dead. <laughs> I mean, I suppose these guys are weaker, but, you know. Nope. Now there's no power on this. So if we can electrify that bulb, I'm guessing that's how we get power to that. All right, let's see what we got here. Take a look around. So this bulb needs power. Ah, uh, well, I suppose. <laughs> well, that probably won't work. That'll lift up and... Okay, so there must be a way... Okay. So as long as it's still touching the line, it provides power to the whole thing. Okay. Makes this a lot simpler, really. I'll just hold it. Actually, that will... Mine? Okay. A lot simpler than I expected. There we go. I thought I could electrify the floor panels. I really thought I was going to fly off the edge there. Oh, hey. I'm not going to forget about you. I suppose I should grab the thing. Moonlight Scimitar. Ugh. I mean... Yeah. 
It's not better than the Thunder Spear. I just want the Scimitar. <laughs> Back up. Alright, what do we got? Okay. I was thinking, it's just like, can we pull these out? Well, I suppose they're metallic, so that's why electricity goes through them. Not that we can do anything with them, but that's fine. As long as we don't step on it. <laughs> There's the... Okay. Ah. Shortcut. Okay. Come back! Okay, where was I as we're going through this? This is a pretty long one. Okay. No, so, like, going back, it's like, you know, there's also, like, N64 emulation on he on the Switch, so it's like, you know, Majora's Mask, which I never played, but I've heard nothing but good things from my friend, you know, um, and then there's Ocarina of Time, you know, Nostalgic 2, another one of my friends, um, and I played the, well, I played a good chunk, or at least I assume it was a good chunk of the, sorry, <clears throat> of the HD version on, uh, my 3DS, or technically my 2DS, um, and I just couldn't get into it, and I think I was around, okay, okay, I see, and I just couldn't get into it, I just, like, um, you know, and the thing is, like, I can't understand why, because I know people get upset when you say, just like, oh, all the Zelda games are the same, well, yeah, the format is very similar between the everything or you know between like especially the 3d games and i love them i'm just saying it is true <laughs> don't kill me okay uh that was also a comment to the comment section don't kill me um but you know it's just like i didn't but you know it's like okay um ocarina is your twilight princess is very similar to ocarina of time more accurately yeah, that's how they released. I just want these to... I'll uh, get rid of one Radiant Shield, pick up another one. But, you know, Twilight Princess was very is very similar in essence to Ocarina of Time. And it's like, I love Twilight Princess, why do I love Ocarina of Time the same way? And I wasn't sure, and maybe just because it was like, it was the first 3D Zelda game, it was still working out the kinks. Um, but I just found it so frustrating. Um, and just sort of like... I don't know, it just like, it did not click. I just like, ran around, the thing that really ticked me off is I didn't know you were supposed to find the, uh, like, claw shot before you went to the grass temple, and then it went to the grass temple, and then it's just like, I can't figure out what to do, what's going on, damn it, okay. Specifically trying to avoid that, but I guess I suppose that's what I get. Um, but, so like, I went to the grass temple, and I'm like... You know, it's like, how can I get progress? What's going on? I feel like I'm missing an item. And you have to get the claw shot way back over, you know, by Hyrule Castle and do, like, a whole mini game, And only then can you do the grass temple, like, the first major temple. And it's just like, why this runaround for all, for this? Um, and then, ah, god damn it. Okay. No, it's just like, why all this runaround? Why isn't, you know, they didn't. You know, at least from what I remember, they didn't articulate that part very well. It's from being an essential item that was easily missable, so you have to run back and forth, back and forth. What was it? There was something I was missing in Zora's Domain, too. Uh, uh what was it? There was some, there was like an item I needed to get, um, for like the ice, ice around Zora's Domain or whatever. And it's just sort of like, I couldn't find it. No, I made a mistake. Um, yeah, I made a mistake, like, you find that blue flame, and I wasn't sure what to do, and it's just like, oh, I must need, like, a container from Zora's Domain, so I ran all the way back to Zora's Domain, bought, like, the blue, f blue went to buy blue fire, it's just, or, or, yeah, blue fire something, it's just like, you can't do that, 
and it's just like, well, what do you mean? And then I found out I had to, like, catch fire in a bottle. I felt that was my fault, but, man, that was a lot of running around trying to figure that out. Um, and I just didn't jive with it. And then, yeah, of course, and, you know, kind of like I was, my friends were asking me, it's just sort of like, you know, how's it going with Ocarina of Time? And I'm just like, there is so much goddamn waiting. And then they kind of just like, come on, man, don't just, you know, um, copy that opinion, come up with your own. It's like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? And then that's when they showed me, or they directed me to the sequelitis uh, video Aaron Hansen did. Um, and honestly, he, well, echoed a lot of how I felt at the time. <laughs> And I know that's a controversial video, just sort of like, you know, Ocarina of Time's a beloved game. He really laid into it for a litany of reasons. But, you know, I do kind of agree with him in a, some regards to it. I don't think it's bad. I just couldn't get into it. And that's just kind of like the, the distinction. And, you know, he was a lot more declarative in that. But, you know, as he says, just like, I don't like it, but if you do, that's fine. But, you know, as harsh and, you know... Um, yeah, as harsh and upfront as he is about, like, that opinion, you know, people are really off put It's just sort of like, I feel like you're judging me as a person for liking this game. Um, but, you know, it's just like, yeah, and trust me, the Aaron Rage can get a little, you know, or can get a little over the top, I feel. Um, but I also understand it, even if he overplays it. And I'll say, yeah, overplay, maybe. No, still enjoys the content. I'm just saying, so it's just like, eh. You know, just, but that again, that's just me. You know, that is not a judgment on, you know, him or a disparaging thing. That's, that's just how I feel. Um, but yeah, I do kind of get some of what he was saying about Ocarina of Time, where it's just like the camera was not very cooperative. The enemies were, you know, kind of annoying. Again, it's also, oh, Star, that is so far away. Okay, we're focusing on this. Um, and you know... So, you know, that, and yeah, just like, the waiting in Ocarina of Time. Sorry, yeah, every time you want to change things up, every time you want to go somewhere, it takes forever to get anywhere, and it just drove me up the wall. And I'm sorry, that's just how I felt. All oh, right, I can get the snow boots. Where are the snow boots? There they are. Okay. And sorry, that's just how I felt. And yeah, maybe I gotta go back to Ocarina of Time, but it's just like, if I didn't get along with, like, some of the quality of life improvements of the HD version, I dread <laughs> to see, you know, to play the original version. Oh, no. <laughs> so, you know, and again, that's just me. I just couldn't get into it. But, you know, that was... That was a long time ago. Coming up on f four... Let's see maybe five years now, you know, since I last played it, or four, five, at least four, maybe five, um, so, you know, my, but my, you know, going back, it's like, it is due time for me to give Ocarina of Time, like, another shot, and maybe with, you know, knowing how to bypass some of the early game frustrations I had, you know, maybe a new approach, shoot, Maybe with a new approach, maybe it won't be nearly as frustrating as I originally found it. And, you know, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, because I want to like it. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of my experience with uh, Ocarina of Time. So, yeah, again, I just couldn't jive with it, and that's just the thing. Like, I'm not saying Ocarina of Time is bad. It just for some reason, it didn't click for me personally. And that's kind of a distinction. It's just sort of like, you know, how you personally feel. You know, you do not have to be disparaging about a game at all. But when you say you don't like it, the census, you know, people seem to think you hate it. And that's not the case. It's just like, I'm kind of nonplussed by it. You know, no formal opinion, but that's not really an answer either. Oh, God. This is pretty good armor, and that just cut through me. There we go, I needed the ice rod for that one Korok. 
Um, so where was I? But yeah, that, you know, that's just kind of like how I ended up feeling about it. And just sort of like, I don't, you know, I don't hate the game. I just am not impressed by what I'm playing. But again, it's been a long time, you know, it's definitely worth another shot. I just also do not want to play the original N64 version. Um, but there's no good way for me to play, uh you know, play it on, re or record it without doing that, because, you know, DS emulators are a real gigantic pain, and all that, so it's like, I'm not entirely sure what to do on that front, but, you know, we'll see, um, but in the meantime, okay, this is definitely under, so, if I just take a bunch of wood, Yep, oh, I'm too close to it. And just give it time to melt. Need something stronger. <laughs> I don't have any proper mining weapons. That's a lot of luminous stone. You know, okay, hold on. Whoops. It's slowly shrinking. Keep going. I'm surprised these guys have not bugged me yet. I suppose, okay, Kutakar. I was gonna say, it's like, I suppose we take out the whiz robes and then that makes it easier? I don't know, but we got it, you know? <laughs> I'm not sure how else you do that, but yeah, just like slowly melting away at it um, through f massive campfires. Melting ice hazard. One uh, offer me before me a block of ice. Only then will the path forward open. Okay. So it's kind of like an extreme version of... Ugh. Just the like, outward heat of the meteor staff or meteor rod. And actually, if I wear, you know, the ice rod, does that make it last longer or give it more resistance? I don't know. You know, main thing is just don't get hit by the fire. Okay, I see. Extra sure. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's lights! Damn it! Uh, I might have went too hard on it. Damn. Okay. I deserve that. I meant it went too much. Nope, not stasis. Ah, get across, use the block to plug up the fire. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, hold on. Try this again. Sorry, I might have gone too hard on the ice block for getting ice physics happen and then it just slid.
I'm very curious if actually having an ice rod out is actually, you know, protecting it in some way. There we go, that's a lot better. <laughs> Not melting. It's a little stuck. There we go. I got you. Okay, let's see. Well, first of all, we can take this. Same principle. The ice block should be fine. Frost blade. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, what to get rid of? I mean, I guess we already have a double axe with a different with a property already, so. Frostblad. Can't jump back out. Okay, go back and around. The ice block is fine. Ah! I thought I could get past it. Hmm. Would that work? I'm, I'm coming up with ideas. Can we make this jump? We not might we might not be able to make that jump. Okay, just barely. Oh no. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's move you in a spot where I'm not gonna knock you away. Put you down. Grab you. Okay, my thought is... Can we... No, I was wondering. It's like, can we... Mag there, can we magnesis that and then hit that with, uh... Or, can we actually, okay, wrong idea, or right idea, reverse order. Okay, so, gotta do this fast. Um, yeah, the frostblade will be enough. Okay. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. If that's the intended way or what. There we go. I got your rice. Stay frosty. Yeah, <laughs> pretty, uh, sorry, pretty cool of me, eh? All right. There we go, that was fun. It took me a second, but that was fun. Your resourcefulness. Full hearts for the birds. Okay, that was fun. That was a fun shrine. Alright. 
So, okay. I wanted to get two more shrines. Ah, oh, nice and sunny out here. This is great. Okay, two more shrines. And I'm thinking if we just go to Rita Village, we got those two right there. That should be, yeah, back and back. Ancient says These energy they may be true as they have been burning for 10,000 years. I skipped a lot of words in that sentence. Um, anyways, so what other Zelda games are there? Well, you know, there's a bunch. Link to the Past is obviously fan favorite, you know, also one of mine. Um, where I actually, I didn't realize it was a Super Nintendo game for a long time. Because when I first played it, it was on, uh, Game Boy. Um, I got it from, uh, my second cousin. Um, and yeah, that was like a game changer. <laughs> like, many a day was spent just playing that over and over again. You know, trying to figure it out the first time, and then again and again. I saw the shrine there. I suppose that's the one I see, so we're going to head that way. Um, and yeah, so like, Link to the Past is great. I actually played that on my channel many years ago. Um, can't remember, was that my first or second year of recording I played that? That in Mario World. Um, well, yeah, technically, Mar or Advan Mario Advanced, playing Mario World. But yeah, no, Link to the Past, another big, or no, another big one. Um, other game, you know, other Zelda games I could play, you know. Um... Well, there is. I played Legend of Zelda 1 and then Zelda 2. Because, like, Zelda 1 is just sort of like, you know what? I never actually beaten this game. It was a very nostalgic game for me and my dad who played it a ton. Yeah, you'll tough it out, Link. We're almost there. Um, so, you know, it's like that was his, you know, uh, you know, big for him back in the day. And then we played it together a ton when I was like four, five, six. We just played it loads. Um, and. You know, he says he's never beaten it, but he has. Um, he did beat it way back then, where he finally beat Ganon, but he says he doesn't remember. But I remember, because it was so freaking cool of him that he did it. Um, and then... Shawarvo. 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 Um, and then, you know, he actually kind of got into, you know, the Switch, um trying the subscription, and so he just happened to find, it's like, oh, he plays old NES games? Uh, the thing is, he just doesn't like the framing and how it works, and I don't either. You know, just kind of like, you know, obviously, Path of the Hidden Winds. You know, it makes sense how the, you know, Switch, uh, you know, um, online is formatted. It's just, I wish you could do, I wish you could do better borders uh, for, you know, all those emulators. Because just like, I just hate like the little gray and speckled, um, you know, line with your profile picture in the corner. I just sort of like, I want, you know, I want to customize that, you know, um, but you can't. It's just sort of like, well, you know, uh, Switch still doesn't have backgrounds of all things. Um, but anyways. Uh, but yeah, so just like, he got into that in a while. I think he like, he looked up like tips and tricks, he looked up, like, speed runs and such, and thought, like, you know, learned some things, so he beat the game again, and again, like I said, like, he be beat it way back then, but he just doesn't recall. Hmm... Hidden winds. <laughs> Sorry, not focusing on this. Come on. Hmm. 
shoot. Whoops. These you can't hit with stasis. I mean, bombs? I was gonna say, launch myself with the power of the bomb. Oh, we can just... <laughs> we can airdrop bombs? I never even realized we could do that. Whee! <laughs> uh, probably not what we're supposed to do. I feel like this one's so simple and there's just something I'm not noticing. Hidden wind. <laughs> that doesn't give me height. <laughs> Sorry, I've seen people like use bomb jumps. I mean, that's cool, you know, paragliding with the board. Oop, oop, uh. Ah! Yeah, what am I not noticing here? There's gotta be something simple and I'm just not seeing it. Okay. Okay, what am I not seeing? I was thinking like stasis and then hold them still and then like maybe a big burst of air, but that's not it. That can get me hit by stasis, but that's probably not it. You're right, that's not taking up wind energy to make everything Work a little less. <laughs> what am I missing? <laughs> the little platform, yeah, it's taking up bandwidth. I was going to say, there's a wind spire there. But we can't climb it. Oh! Took me a second, just like hidden wind, like invisible wind. What's going on? No, it's hiding. Knight's bow. Do we have? Okay. I gotcha. I figured you out. Clever. Okay. Anyways, now that I actually figured this out, yeah, I can ramble some more. Um, but yeah, Zelda One, and like I finally played that. It's good. I also just got frustrated with that, and mainly just because the RNG was not on my side. It's like I need rupees, I need certain item drops, and I just can't get them. And you know, there was just like some things that just held me up, and it's just sort of like, man, I'm getting killed really fast because those, you know, what was it? Are they the Iron Knuckles, just like the two sorted, or, you know, the big knight enemies, and, you know, you can only hit them at a, a certain way, and they can take out, like, a lot of your life in a single hit unless you got certain upgrades and take forever to kill. So, you know, I just wasn't sure, you know, despite, you know, playing it, you know, playing with my dad a ton, there were certain things that slipped my mind, just sort of like, you know, where to find certain upgrades or, you know, such and such. 
So eventually finding that and figuring that out. I see. I saw Satori Mountain is glowing. Nope. I want to go back up to Satori Mountain. Well, there's also a shrine up there as well that we could get. A few bows, fire bolts, blazes at once. Um, but yeah, Zelda 1, you know, so that was like, that was interesting to finally go back to it. It's just sort of like, I found it, had some, you know, bad luck with it, but you know, still fine. Um, but then Zelda 2, I actually really like Zelda 2, despite it being, you know, uh, absurdly frustrating. <laughs> like, you know, I kind of talked about this, uh, I suppose that looks like it's a shrine there. Okay, hold on. Um, but yeah, like, Zelda 2 actually, I think, has, like, also some good merits to it. Um, where it's just sort of like, yeah, like, the dimensions are completely different. It goes from, like, top down to flat 2, or, you know, 2D, uh, like, you know, very confusing overworld. And that's the thing, Zelda 2's biggest flaw is that it's confusing. Um, where it's just sort of like, if you don't know where to go, or if you don't find a certain item, or, you know, a lot of things that are hidden, you know, some things that are hidden, there's, like, no, uh, sign, Warble's Nest. What's the deal with this thing? One. I got it. Okay. Nope. Gotta stop doing that. No? Okay. It was worth a shot. Yeah, my thought was, you know, it's like, these are like all numbered. We got one, two, three, four, five. Nope, come back. Bomb. Bomb! You are rolling very far. Okay. I know they're numbered. This is an incomplete circle. There's the rock. Okay, well, you know, I feel like I'm onto something where it's just sort of like, okay, you know, they're numbered one, two, three, four, five. Um, I just don't know what to do about it. <laughs> like, yeah, I figured like Rito, they're very arrow focused and such. Is there another Korok there? Oh, it's one of these. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry, getting distracted, you know. I was like, I want to find one more shrine, but I suppose we should also go for the dragon. So I want to get that all sorted out here, too. Okay, I want to find one more shrine. Okay, let's see. Is there another shrine I have marked that I could get? Oh, right, we gotta go get the... 
other item there. Hold on. Sorry, trying to fit a lot in here. Now I'm talkative. Um, because, yeah, no, I actually really like Zelda 2. You know, it's very confusing in there, especially early on, where it's like, you know, certain things are hidden or like certain important information the game does not tell you or make super clear. Um, you know, it's like, in some ways to progress, the game just does not tell you about, like how to find, uh, like Bagu or whatever. It's just like, or, you know, that crouch attacking is also a grab move to pick up items that you don't know are under a table. <laughs> That is essential for getting one of the most important abilities in the game. But, sorry. <clears throat> you know, stuff like that. Um, but overall, you know, the dungeons actually are kind of cool. You know, the boss fights are tough. How it feels to fight enemies is really interesting, just like this back and forth of parries. Um, you know, that was not refined, so you could be attacking up and down, up and down. Um, you know, uh, back and forth with an enemy just blocking every move, and then you get nowhere for so long. Um, Lost Woods. Apparently we're supposed to go through the main entrance, and then we're just supposed to go, you know, kind of straight out. And then... We just gotta find a tree with an open mouth. That might be a little bit off course. Damn. Unless I put the Korok. Unless I put it in the wrong spots, but let's see. I didn't think I did. Uh, oh, we got sent to the... We got sent to the beginning, huh? Can we catch the deer? Damn. Sorry, trying to trying to quickly navigate and Not the... Damn. Try again. You can't catch me, Fog. Sorry. Okay, trying to figure this out, because I swear the video just showed me, you know, showed you go right straight through, unless I put it in the wrong spot. Okay, let's find out. Let's try it again. Sorry, if we don't get it now, we'll just get it next time. Sorry, trying to not... Get down. I suppose has to... Well, I'll probably just buy what upgrades I can. Or wait, no, no, it wasn't this way. It was this way. Oh, Blood Moon's gonna happen. It's just sort of like, what's that distortion? <sighs> Same cutscene as usual. Was it this way? God. I just watched the video before recording this, but, you know, distracted with so many of our conversation topics. No, this is... Definitely not this way, because it's not wasn't by a walkie. Man, okay. Anyways. 
So, anyways, um, more Zelda stuff. Yeah, Zelda 2 I actually kind of like, but, you know, it's like, there's a lot of cool stuff to it. It's like a very in different kind of uh, Legend of Zelda adventure that kind of digs into Link as a character. And there's loads of things that Zelda 2, um, you know, initiates that will be in, you know, essential to who Link became in the future. You know, certain attacks that he did, like the downward stab and, um, you know, other abilities like that. Um, you know, it was Link going after the Triforce of Courage, which I don't think was even mentioned in, or I don't recall if it was ever mentioned in the first game, but, you know, uh, Ganon's got the Triforce of Power, you beat him, get that, you gotta put together the tr pieces of the Triforce of Wisdom for Zelda when you save her, um, and then, like, Zelda 2 is about, like, yeah, Link going out to find his own piece, the Triforce, or, n the, his own piece of the Triforce, the piece of Courage, and, you know, it just establishes, like, who, it really digs into, like, who Link will eventually become as a character, you know, um, you know, fighting his, um, darker half. There it is, okay. Korok Mask, there we go. A mask inspired by fun-loving Koroks. It shakes when one is hiding nearby. It's a rather rare find. Yeah, I am way off. What the hell is that? Okay, we got it. Mask Rumors. Okay, there we go. That's that. We got all the DLC items. That was the Horse God one. Okay, that was the Bridal. Okay. Or no, the Saddle. Yeah. Um, the only DLC items we don't have yet are in the Hyrule Castle. The, what was it? The Royal Guard? Yeah, Royal Set or Royal Guard Set? Whatever. We're going to head over here and try to climb the Nehru, because, yeah, I wanted to go find that dragon, because apparently we just got to start, go to the top of the dragon, and then it says spoilers ahead, so I suppose we'll just check it out. Who knows? Okay. Um, but yeah, no, but Zelda 2 does have, like, a lot of cool stuff going for it. Um, you know, a lot of really interesting thematic stuff, and, like, the story is way different, where it's just sort of like, yeah, Ganon's minions are coming to murder you. And, you know, it's just like, you're being stalked while you're trying to traverse the land. It's just such a cool, like, different feeling from the first game. Um, and that's, I think that's just really interesting. Um, but, you know, it's like, it is an acquired taste. It is a guide. It's a guide game. You should have a guide. Right, um, we're in a cave. So we gotta exit the cave in order to climb the walls. But, you know, it's a guide game. You just, like, you just need to have a guide just to, like, point you in the right direction a couple of times. And, you know, again, combat can be frustrating. It's fun trading blows or, like, you know, you can block most attacks by positioning your shield. You know, the coolest enemies that demonstrate that are the, uh, you know, the, like, I don't know what they are. Like, the uh, Fu Man uh, Weasel guys with boomerangs. Um, but, you know, it's just, like, you can attack, spin around duck and block your with your shield and stop their boomerang spin back around um and you know dodge his next attack he throws at you and it's really cool you know there are just some moments where that make where the combat actually kind of shines so anyways yeah so legend of zelda 2 i think is actually you know deserves another shot um and i actually kind of like that you know I kind of wish, you know, well, I suppose Breath of the Wild kind of does something like that, where it, oh boy, that looks like a dragon, but it also looks like corruption. Okay, that's why they said spoilers ahead, so I just stopped. Um, but, you know, I'd say it's just sort of like, well, you know, I know it's a uh, comparison people hate, but, you know, Breath of the Wild is kind of Souls-likey in a way, like, kind of like Dark Souls, mainly in terms of its combat. It feels more like Dark Souls than it does, like, um, Legend of Zelda, albeit, you know, faster, but, you know, timing and precision is everything, you know, you have to worry about stand stamina management, well, not in combat, um, it is still an important part of the system, um, and, like, with, uh, when it comes to combat, it's just sort of like, yeah, make every move count. Um, sorry. As we're going up, the music is just kind of like, yeah, getting more and more sinister and dark.
That's why I haven't seen the dragon. I never did this. Oh boy. I mean, speaking of Dark Souls, he looks exactly like Frampton Calf. <laughs> Not exactly, but you know, it's just sort of like big droopy. Okay, you have done well to find your way to the spring. You have overcome numerous trials and obtained the spirit orbs. Free this beast. The one you see before you is attendant of the, to the Spring of Wisdom. Its name is Nadra, the blue spirit of Lanayru. The servant of the goddess has looked over the spirit of this land for ages, unknown to the world of man. However, the dreaded malice unleashed by Calamity Gan has possessed its body and reduced it to this state. You who have received the spirit orbs, free Nadra from this malice. Show what you what your power can achieve. Okay, is this gonna be like a sub boss fight or how does this work? I suppose just prick it in the eyes. Can I pray to you so I can at least... Who, uh, red... Okay. Well, we got... I don't need that much zoom in. Oops. Ow. If you sit still, I can work this a lot easier. I suppose I gotta get higher. It won't open size. I gotta get higher. Okay, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? There's definitely a shrine back there. So if we free Nadra, does that mean we get the shrine back there, maybe? Unless, if there is a shrine. I'm assuming there is, because this is just like the other spring. Okay. And I forget, where's the Spring of Power at? Isn't that like behind Death Mountain or something? I was watching, or it was a while ago, I was watching uh, Ma or Game Theory, it's video on, you know, Hyrule Warriors and its timeline, of or its place in the timeline next to Breath of the Wild, and I'm like, I feel validated by that. Because as someone who actually like really likes the Hyrule Warriors games, um, you know, it feels vindicating to go like, okay, Nintendo won't admit it, but like, there is so much canonical importance in that game. <laughs> And I get it, it's, you know, different company, so it's technically not canon. It's cool having, like, that giant, like, um, you know, clash of worlds in, uh, the first Hyrule Warriors game. Oh, there's wind. Do we follow him? Ah! Thanks, you're welcome. All right, this is certainly epic and everything. Whoop. Nope, gotta get a better angle. Shoot. Oh, cool. Got him. Whoop. <laughs> well, I didn't think it could land on their back, but that was cool to try. I need some of your horns in order to get the upgrade I need for my um, champion garb. So let's just keep following him. Okay, this is cool. Closer yet. Oh, he's coming this way. 
Snaking through, there's a Korok, but he is the least important part of what we're doing right now. He's ripping down trees as he goes, or she, I have no idea. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. Ah, I missed my shot. You know, as its body just, you know, goes through, it's like crumbling trees and everything. Okay, Korok, come here. I need the wood anyway, so good on the dragon for helping me out. Gotcha. You found me! Oh god, what is that? I gotta get out of here! Okay, it's coming back this way. Oop. Nope, I missed my chance. Can't get a shot at his back. Nope. There we go. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> I was just like, man, this is still really sickly looking. I didn't realize it was still... I thought it was just going to explode there. <laughs> okay, that was cool. That was... Yeah, that was different. Like, actually interacting with the dragons, you know, more kind of personally. Thanks to your efforts, Nadra, the spirit of the Mount, Mount Nehru, has been freed from the grip of an evil power. But a single ceremony remains. Now loosen your air through the body of Nadra to free the spirit of this region. Uh, okay. So, just... that I get a free shot? Ow, you dick! Why? That is the spirit. Uh, that is the spirit. Nadra's scale. It fell from your arrow. Its arrow struck. It serves as proof of your courage you received from the one who served the spirit since or er, the spring since ancient times. Come, offer a scale from the blue spirit Nadra to the spring of wisdom. All right. Nadra's scale. Okay, I aim for the horn, but I suppose you get the scale um, immediately. And there we go. Okay, that's... Path has shown itself. Now go forth. Alright, so, you know, we get a freebie. So it's like, if that's the first time you really interacted with a dragon, Jitan Sami. That's how you interact with them. Right, sorry. Jitan Samis. Samis. But, you know, we got it. Frost Beer! Inventory's full. Is there anything I can get rid of? I mean, I already got a Frost Blade. I got a Frost Thing. I mean... Just because it's different. But, you know, there you have it. Sorry. Now, if we could just find... We got a cur spring of courage, spring of, um, you know, wisdom. Where's the spring of power at? Um, I'm trying to remember. It was somewhere near Death Mountain. Like, it was somewhere near, near Death Mountain. That's where I remember. Or at least in that general area. <clears throat> when inflated this balloon. I gotta do something with Octorock balloon, Octor balloons, because that's funny. But, okay, Nadra is now flying about, so I could grind some horns for that so I can upgrade the champion gear. Yeah, I've conquered the shrines and claimed the spirit orbs. Yeah, just give me heart containers. Whoa. 
And one more. <clears throat> you know, we'll get through this pretty quickly. You know, I'm thinking where I'm going to put my focus now. We are more than strong enough, I think, where we can take on the Divine Beast and just get those four things wrapped up. And then we can just spend our time, you know, clicking away at the, you know, various other shrines and other stuff I'm missing. So I think that's my goal. So, yeah, it shouldn't... Is that it right there? Is that it? Because that looks like... I was thinking, it's just sort of like, okay, Death Mountain, but, you know, not that close to Death Mountain. It was somewhere in this top right corner, from what I remember from that Game Theory video. But that looks like, yeah, a bunch of water there. That must be it. So... Okay, let's just put a marker, red for power. Just, sorry, one more thing to check before we wrap up. Because we already have, like, the fire dragon scale, so if that's what we need to awaken it, we can do this right now. Or, you know, who knows what other cool thing could be there. We shall see. Hey, guy, I'm sure you have stuff going on, um, but I'm moving on. Because he's just like, he seems so distinct from everyone else, but I'm, I'm on my own quest. But yeah, if, this, it's, if it's right here and all we need is the scale, we already have the Fire Dragon scale. Um, what was it, Dinra or whatever? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm stealing you. <laughs> You're not the one who kicked me, but I'm taking you. this it okay this is definitely it spring of power here we are there's even guardians apparently around the area too I'm just looking because this should be yeah this place is crawling with guardians got like this little entrance here if you didn't come from up top Recall. Oh! Oh, right. Okay, this was a thing on the picture. I was not paying attention. I remember I did get all the uh, memories. I just don't remember this being one. You know, another thing we gotta do is the memories, but I figured we can take care of a majority of them another time when we really got all the exploration figured out. Oh, God! Come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven death to my devotion. Please just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? Ah, poor girl. <laughs> yeah, that also, honestly, a lot of that also hits harder um, with the context of Age of Calamity. <laughs> uh, again, I know I keep saying that, but it's true. At least that's how I feel. 
Because, yeah, you know, Zelda is one of the chosen ones. She's the destined, you know, vessel of the goddess. And it's not working for her. It's not clicking. She can't harness that power. And she doesn't know why. You know, uh, her father is not being very supportive. And I'll maybe dig into that later. Because, you know, we need more context. Um, but, you know... Rome's not being very supportive. You know, the fact that we're here, you know, we have found our destiny. We know what we are. It's like we're the chosen champion, and we're just a constant reminder to Zelda that she has not found her calling yet, either. Um, and despite how... yeah. So, it's interesting. You have done well to find the spring. Offer Dinral scale. Yeah. Simple enough. Hey, check this out. You want to know how much of a badass I am? If I can find it. Here it is. Uh, you know how cool I am? Here you go. Already got it. Didn't even need to be told. Whoops. path has shown itself. Now go forth. Alright. Um, but yeah, so you know, Zelda's trying to find, you know, find herself. Fulfill her part of destiny and it's Susuma Nima. Nima? Susuma? Susuwa Nima. Anyways. You know, Zelda's trying to find her place in destiny and it's just not working. And she's getting frustrated, she's gathering self-doubt, and that's not making the progress any better. And, you know, she's going to the Spring of Power, just sort of like, I need to awaken this power. She's missing... Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. Um... What do we go in for? You know what? This is the Spring of Power. Let's go in blazing. Phantom Gear is actually good for this. Yeah. Come at me, bro. It's just this full guardian. <laughs> Honestly, that might be easier. Come at me, bro. I mean, pretty good opening volley. Ow, I wasn't recharged yet. <laughs> Ow. There we go. This axe is about to break. Gotcha. Awesome. Uh... I suppose we don't need a second Guardian Spear. Can't carry any more shields, but we got the sword. Alrighty. You know, didn't have Urbosa's Fury. I didn't even realize I didn't. that wasn't recharged yet. Oh, wait, can't be used in us. Um, Sari? Can't be used in a uh, shrine. Forgot about that. But we're good, you know, no problem. Flame Spear. Uh, I want that too. I just want abilities. 
I probably shouldn't get rid of that one, but you know, and trade a super strong guardian spear for a fire spear that I'm never going to use. Oh, well. Actually, that might be useful for Vom Meadow. Well, it, it, we'll see. Just getting another one. Another one. Um, but yeah, so you know, Zelda is so filled with self-doubt. Um, and so yeah, she goes to the spring of power. You know, it's just so like, you know, what do I need to get that strength? What do I need to become powerful when that's not what, you know, she should be looking for? It's the wisdom to wield that power. Um, you know, as I recall in Age of Calamity, there was a whole thing where it's like, and maybe it happens here too, I don't remember, um, but, okay, no, these are the memories, <laughs> I feel like we've been there, we absolutely been there, okay, well, we'll come back to that, on the castle wall, I think that's an important one. But, uh, okay, that's probably on Death Mountain, right? No, no, not quite, but Korai forces to the right, castles to the left, whatever. You know, we'll find these eventually too, and then we'll just go back through them again. Um, but, you know, she's going to the Spring of Power, um, you know, looking for strength when that's not what she, it, you know, really needs. Um, even the courage, um, you know, there's a whole part in Age of Calamity, it's just like, go to the Spring of Courage and, you know, pray about it. Um, and she goes back and just like, no, this isn't working either. Um, and, you know, that's kind of when things start to go to hell, um, but we'll get there. Um, so, you know, it's just sort of like, you know, that thing. And I feel like there was also a mission where we went to the Spring of Wisdom, but that didn't do anything either, just because she didn't know what to do at the time. But, you know, it's like, it's Zelda trying to find her place in you know, the decided fate, and how she's trying to come to grips for that, to that, and how, you know, it's hard to, when everyone's pressuring her, pressuring her to be this savior that she just does not know the first thing about handling, but it's like, it's your fate, it's your destiny, get it sorted out, you should know what to do, why are you falling behind, and that just, again, it just, you know, fuels that self-doubt, and we'll get more into that when we see more about Rome. But anyways, so, for now, we got a bit done. Found the DLC items, found some springs. I can go grind at, um, Nadra a little bit just to, you know, upgrade my champion garb just because that's strong. Um, and yeah, we'll wrap up here for right now. Next time we continue, we will get on track, and we're gonna go after the Divine Beasts. You know, it's like, we're gonna go after Von Meadow first, and then not long after that, we're going to go after, um, what's his name? Darunia. So, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.